what is up y'all it's your girl slush if you clicked on this video chances are you're wondering or maybe you want to learn a little bit more about kids size flow ropes or youth size flow ropes so in case you've never met me at least virtually hi my name is slush creator of slush ropes I've been part of the jump rope and rope flow community for years now and slush ropes is this happy accident that just kind of happened. So I'm super honored to be able to do this today and, um, you know, build, build this thing alongside community. And so, um, yeah, let's just get into it. So first things first, last week I dropped an entire collection because I was crazy like that. I dropped an entire collection, five colorways. It's like red, green, purple, orange, and blue. Yeah, five colors, and not only five colors, but three variations. So the first variation is the kid size. The kid size is at five feet. You have the youth size, which is at six and a half feet. And then you have the adult size, which is you know, standard eight feet rope. I know there's a lot of questions about it as of recent and the launch has actually been super, super successful. So if you are one of those parents that supported, tried it out, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and this video, I guess, kind of dives deep a little bit more because I know sometimes we don't really want to read and don't worry i'm like that too sometimes i prefer to listen or watch something so the kid size the kid size right here is a five foot rope and both kids and youth features a smaller handle so the smaller handle is pretty much three knots instead of four and I'm going to grab the adult one right here. This adult one is, we're gonna just do one for the sake of the video. We're gonna do one right here. And this is the kids. Ooh. And this is the youth. All right. So kids and youth, adult. Just so you guys have like, sorry guys, my hands are really small. So I'm, I'm trying my best to hold these handles but yeah this this is it right here guys all right so kids youth and adult size so that's the first um thing that you're gonna notice is uh the handles are gonna be smaller and obviously because we're trying to have smaller humans use this um which is really really cool the second thing about the kids and the youth size ropes is <laughs> they're literally made from the same material Usually what happens, you know, this can be in footwear, clothing, um, like toys or just like anything. When something is made for kids or for youth, there is usually kind of that assumption that the material is not going to be as good as the adult version or the full version. So for example, um, okay, so for example, I'm, I'm someone who, I, I love shoes, like I'm a sneakerhead. I mean, recently I had to stop because my, my, my feet is giving out, but let's just not talk about that. But when you buy Jordans, right? When you buy Jordans, there's like the regular full full size, I guess, or men's or women's size. And then uh, uh, before that, there's going to be the youth size. So after the, or before the youth is going to be like preschool or like kids, I guess. So you have preschool slash kids, youth, and then adult size, which is like men or women. So because I have small feet, I luckily <laughs> fall under the youth size. What's cool about it is that it is cheaper for me to buy like Let's say an Air Jordan 1, you know, the same red shoe that Michael Jordan wore. Um, that specific model is going to be cheaper for me compared to someone else who has like, I don't know, like a size 8 foot, right? Because 
for the youth size, they kind of compromise or they just use cheaper material, you know, to bring the cost down. And, you know, it, it just kind of ends up um, being the same. Like if you look at it, it's the same. But if you really look at it, it's not the same. So kind of going back to everything I was saying is the kid size, the youth size, and the adult size, they are all made from the same spool. Even the tips right over here, they're all the same. Sorry, it's blurry. But yeah, they are all the same. The only difference here is going to be the length and the handle. That's it. Plus, it's, it's too much trouble to have to do all that, you know, just, just to make something a kid's version. And so um, that is something I'm super, super excited about, super proud of because, you know, you are, we, are, we are able to share this with the youth without, you know, kind of like giving them um, like a lower grade item, I would say. But yeah. That's, um, I guess that's one of the points. And then another thing as well is I came out with the, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to burp. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, I came out with the mini me bundle, which is super, super cool. This is one of those things that parents have been talking about and they've just been talking about how like, you know, like they would be at home and they're flowing and their kids are just kind of like watching them or maybe like their kids are interested but you know the rope is just too long so the mini me bundle is cool um, because number one uh, you get one adult size rope and then the second rope you get is your choice of um, kids or youth size flow rope so I guess it just depends how you know how tall your kid is um but you know when you do purchase the mini me bundle you actually save by purchasing together instead of buying them separately and then the other thing as well is um it comes with the matching color so if you buy this green mini me bundle you'll get like both greens um but yeah super exciting and then the last thing as well is this is probably the part of the video that I really, really want to talk about is just safety for kids, for minors, for children. Um, just because, you know, rope flow is a very, very safe um, activity or practice. However, I'm not going to say like it's completely safe. You know, because there's nothing in life that's completely safe. And that is what I mean by that. And so if you are a parent or you are an adult thinking about purchasing a kid's or youth size flow rope for a minor, I want to make sure that one, if, if you are the parent, that you will always make sure that whenever they are using this that they are supervised and number two that you have an idea of how the product functions and three that you make sure that you are able to provide um, proper instructions for whoever is going to be using the ropes I, I just feel like I have to say it. I know that that just sounds like I'm kind of like dumbing things down or whatever, but I think it's just important to talk about it. And, you know, if for whatever reason your, your child has some sort of um, physical limitations, injuries, things like that, please talk to your doc, to their doctor seek medical advice first before moving forward this is just super super important just because as much as you know this is pretty fun and in my perspective it's pretty safe i just want to make sure that at all times um we can prevent um, anything um, from happening you know i know ropes are super super fun but you know leaving them with the ropes unattended it's probably not the jam. I mean, leaving kids unattended 
is just not the jam but you know i just feel like i have to disclose that um but yeah if you have any questions regarding safety concerns about these flow ropes if you are not sure about something i want to make sure that i open this up this conversation up to anyone out there so you can email me at info at slushropes.com if you'd like to have a conversation if you want to make sure that everything is good to go um, in terms of the products fitting your needs um, I, I just think that it's super super important and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm super excited to um, continue making rope flow accessible for everyone out there and yeah i'll catch you guys later